Today, we're going to be setting up Ticket Tool, which is a bot that creates tickets in your Discord server, just like these on the screen. This allows you to easily answer questions and queries which members might have, and it's popular in public Discord servers. Before that though, I want you guys to comment down below how many Discord servers you own. But without further ado, let's begin. So what exactly is Ticket Tool? Well, like I said, it's a ticket bot, and it pretty much just creates tickets in your Discord server, so that members are able to get support a lot easier, and all the things are just in one place, rather than them being spread out across the entire server channels or it being discussed in general chat. Everything can be discussed in one channel which is hidden away from other members and it makes things a lot more organised and easier to deal with. So like I said, the bot we're going to use is Ticket Tool and first we're going to invite the bot and to do that you can click the link in the description below and it should take you to this page. So when you click that it should open this page as you can see on the screen and what you're going to need to do is going to sign into your Discord account. And you should see on the top right, it should say, if you're not already signed in, log into your Discord account. So you'd click that and sign into your account. And as you can see, I'm signed in as Fleet. So once you've done that, you can just click Invite Ticket Tool right here. So click that. And it should take you to the page, which it normally does with all the other bots. And you can just click Add to Server. And you choose the server which you want to add the bot to. So for this, it's going to be the video test server. So then you click Continue. And just make sure that all these permissions are ticked right here so that the bot can actually do the things it needs to do. So then click authorize and then just show that you're a human by clicking this box right here. And as you can see, obviously I'm a human. If I go into the Discord server, you'll see that Ticket Tool is now in the Discord server. Now you're going to want to go back to the website we were on before. So you can just go back over here and we can just click the link again. So you open the new website, as you can see. And I'm just going to run through the little things which are on the website already. So you can see they've got different features here. So 24-7 uptime, custom tags, support, transcripts, full customization, and how it's easy to customize. You kind of want a menu which is going to be like easy to use. You want something easy to set up, which is why I chose this bot. As you can see, 584,000 servers use this bot. It's got 13.4 million users in total, and it's got 45 million tickets, which is insane. So yeah, we're going to now click Manage Servers so we can get the setup process going. So click Manage Servers and you want to select the server which you were trying to set up. So in my case, it's going to be the video test server. So click Manage and then you're going to go to the server info. And you can see right here, it gives you the bot permission info. And this shows the permissions which the bot actually has. And you need to make sure all of these are ticked. So as soon as you add the bot, you'll see that the administration actually isn't ticked. And I'm going to show you how you can do that real quick. So if you go to your Discord server, so just go here. And you're going to go to your server settings. So click the arrow right here. Server settings, go to your roles. As soon as you open roles, you'll see ticket tool which appears. And it appears when you actually invite the bot to the server. You're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And you'll see there's an administrator permission. You literally just tick that so it's green. And make sure that you save the changes. You can then leave this open because we're going to need to go back. But if you go back to the page right here, if you refresh the page, you can see that it gives the administrator permission. And all of these are tick green, which is exactly what you want. So now we're going to go to the server config section. So click that right there. And you'll see right now that you can actually change the prefix of the bot. As I know some bots, they use similar prefixes and it can get confusing when setting up the bot and doing commands. So I would suggest doing a prefix which isn't used by any of the bots you have. So you can just click it and change it to anything you want. So exclamation mark R or you could do T if you want to, but I'm just going to keep the default one of the dollar sign. And then you're going to have some dashboard roles and we're going to make these really quick. So if you go back to your Discord server, I'll explain what they are in a second. So you just have to just create a role and we're going to create a role. It's going to be called supporter. So when you have a ticket, the people who are actually going to answer it is this is the role you're going to create. The people who are going to answer the tickets, your like support team sort of. I would suggest doing it optional because not every single person wants to answer tickets and you're more likely enough to have a supporter role where they can choose to optionally actually answer tickets. So we're going to create one real quick by clicking the plus right here and then you're just going to call it. So if you go up here to supporter. We're going to change the name to supporter and you can call this whatever you want but just to make it easier supporter put it all the way above on the very top and you can change the color to whatever you want so blue in my case and then i'll just save changes so then you can just press escape and another thing we're going to need to do in discord server is create a support channel and i'll get to that in a second but you can just go into your text channels and just create a channel with this plus here make sure it's a text channel and you're going to want to create a support channel this is basically the thing we're going to have, which the members will need to like have access to to actually create the ticket. It'll be like the little menu, but I'll be explaining that later. 
So you just make a channel called support or ticket and this is where members will be able to actually create the ticket. So leave that as it is and we'll go back to that in a second. So yeah, back on the website and we were talking about the dashboard roles. And these are the roles which pretty much get access to change the things on the website, which is what we're doing right now. If you're like busy, you might have someone who can easily just hop on. If you're like asleep, maybe if someone could just hop on and just change some things for you, if you need to, to make the bot actually work. So I would suggest having some dashboard roles just in case. And I would set those to the supporter. So if they don't appear for you, if you've just made the role like I just did, you want to refresh your page and you'll see everything might change because you didn't save it, but just change your prefix back if you did change it, but go to the dashboard roles and you'll see right now the supporter role does appear. So I can click that and then you just click off it to remove that little like a drop down box. And that's pretty much how you do dashboard roles. You can also add blacklist roles, which are roles which won't actually be able to use any of the commands or reactions, so they can't actually create a ticket. And I would suggest maybe choosing a unverified role if you have a verification system in your server. And if you don't happen to have one and you kind of want one in your server, I would suggest clicking the card on the top right right now, as I have a video on that and it's pretty useful. So yeah, if you have an unverified role, I suggest choosing that, but I don't, so I'm just going to leave it blank. But then when you're ready, you can just click save. As you can see, general options saved at the bottom here. Now if you go to the command figs, the section right here, you'll be able to see all the commands which the bot can do. And these are going to be useful for like actually uh, understanding the tickets, different things like that. You might not need them, but you know they're all that in that section if you need them. I would suggest not touching any of these because there's not really a need to. But yeah, that's the, all the commands there. But for now, we're going to go to the panel configs and we're going to use that support channel which we created before. So you're going to go to your panel configs channel and it should look something like this. Here we go, it's loaded. So you're going to go and click create panel and this panel is the thing where people actually can go and create tickets and we can customize it all later on but you just want to create panel and you want to give it a name so you can call it tickets, you can call it whatever you want, um, it doesn't really make a difference so I need to actually spell it right. So then you can also choose the role, so the support team role, so the people who actually have access to view the tickets and answer them, so we created that support role before, so supporter role and then click off so the drop down box disappears and then also the newly created panel like channel which is where this like panel we're going to make goes like which channel it's going to go into and you don't have to actually have one but i would suggest having one so it doesn't make one for you you've got everything ready and organized so just select one you're going to select that support channel which you created before and then you just go ahead and create the panel and you'll see tickets created at the bottom right here and you just refresh your page and you'll see it's created a panel and if you actually go to your discord server you'll see in that channel it's actually just made one for you so everything's there set up and now i'm going to show you how you can basically create the ticket and like close the ticket all those different things like that so when a member opens up this channel they'll see if they need to create a ticket they just see this menu right here they'll just react with this like envelope thing right here so they click that and you'll see it opened a ticket and this is where they can talk to the support team. As you can see, there's no one in the support team in this server because I haven't actually given anyone the role. But to show you like an example, if I got my admin here, Griff, if I just give him the supporter role, you can see now if I go into the ticket, he actually can see this channel. So if I type in here, for example, he would be able to see it. And you can have a conversation with the support team and the member that needs assistance. And you can just message them, get your ticket going either way. But this is kind of what the member sees and the support sees something similar. You just have to answer the questions which they might have. So yeah, once you've finished with the ticket and everything, either the member or the support team can actually close the ticket. So to close the ticket, you can just react with this lock right here and you'll see it reacts with the cross and also the tick. And this is to make double sure that you're actually wanting to close the ticket because some people do it by mistake. So you just react with the tick because I want to close it. And it gives you like this ticket close by fleet and you can save the ticket so if you have something for example if you have a discussion going on and you want to save this like ticket for evidence you can also just save the transcript so you can see right here it saved the ticket and you can actually either copy it if you want to or you can download it it's like either way you can do it it's really cool um but that's how you save that ticket you can reopen the ticket by clicking the unlock button and as you see the ticket's open by me but then you'd have to obviously close it again. So react to that and the green tick. So ticket is closed and to finally permanently delete the ticket, you won't be able to open it again. You just react to this stop sign right here. So well not stop sign, the no entry sign. And 
The ticket will be deleted in 5 seconds automatically, as you can see, it is gone. So yeah, that's pretty much the basics of actually setting this up. And now I'm going to go to the more advanced, more customizable route and make it look a lot better. So now we're going to go back to the website and we're in the panel config section. And all you're going to do is you can see you have your ticket panel, which you made before. You're just now going to click settings on the right here. And then it's going to open this like menu thing. Now, remember, bear in mind that some of these like features are premium only. And obviously you get more features if you pay for premium. But these are just the ones I'm going to show you which are free. So you're going to go to your ticket options and you're going to click edit ticket message. Now you might know that when you actually open the ticket, so if I open one again, you can see in ticket two, it gives you like this little message in the embed and also the one at the start. And it just says at fleet welcome. So what you're going to need to do is you can, if you want to edit this, you don't have to, but you can have a choice. You can make it like a little better. So I have one copied already. So if I just grab that real quick. Hello, thanks for creating a ticket. If you want to keep the ping so the user actually knows the ticket's been opened, I suggest keeping this like brackets user and brackets. I can't remember what the brackets are called, but yeah, if you have those the same, so just put your message before or after, I don't mind. But then, hello, thanks for creating a ticket and it will ping the user. So obviously you can't change the URL, the author name, because that's all premium stuff, as you can see with the diamond, which is in red. But then if you go down here, you can see there's a character limit for the embed text. And this is the thing which is inside of this thing right here. And you can see you can change this as well. So I can remove all of this. And I'm going to grab one I already copied and pasted. So hold tight, a member of staff will be with you as soon as possible. So copy that. You can put obviously whatever you want, but you can do that. You can add a field as well. So if you want to add multiple different ones, but again, that is premium. So then when you've done that, you can just click save. But make sure you actually do click save and you can see the embed is saved. So now if I leave, you can leave that open or you can close it. I don't really mind. But if you now close the ticket, because you can't have multiple tickets open at once, if you close the ticket, so there you go, I'm going to just delete the ticket now, right here, ticket will be deleted in 5 seconds, you'll see now when I actually open another ticket, the message will change. So support, and then the tickets right here, so react with this, and it will create ticket 3, and you can see it's actually changed the whole entire message, and I think this looks a lot better. Gives you more customization and it shows that you're actually putting effort into making it look as nice as possible. But like I said before, all the other customization features are premium and if you want to maybe make it look a lot better, there are some pretty good features out there. I would suggest probably paying for premium, but you can see you can get a decent amount with just having the free version. Um, but yeah, the premium features do make it look a lot better. So that's everything. That's all you need to know about how to make a ticket. And if you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like and also subscribe. And be sure to comment down below if you have any questions or queries, and I'll be sure to answer them. Join the two Discord servers, which are on the screen right now. And thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!